Hi everybody, this is Randy Richards again, and this is day five, the last day you have to see me. Um, I've enjoyed this, I hope you've actually gotten some stuff out of it yourself. Um, but today's a big day. Today we're presenting our CV and trying to figure out if that's what we like. Maybe we need to tweak it, that's okay. But um, today we're like pretty excited. So let's see what we can do here. All right. So it is day five, like I said. We are presenting our CV. First thing we do every day, we review what we've done. So starting on Monday, we created your brand. Um, what is it people say about you when you're not around? From that, we went on to create our personal mission statement. Again, our mission statement is something that's going to keep us focused um, and get rid of all the clutter in our lives. By doing that, we can keep moving forward to whatever our ultimate goal might be. Um, the next day, we did, uh, looked at the experience that we've had in our lives, and we created an elevator pitch. That 30 to second, 30 second to 60 second spiel to somebody that you want to grab their attention. And then, of course, yesterday we looked at creating our CV. So today, we're going to be presenting the CV. And a few things I want to remind you of. This is all about you, okay? This is just about you. So that's the beauty of it. You're not going out to find research that you've done in school and presenting a project on something you don't really know much about. This is all about you. You should know everything on that paper. You are up there selling yourself. You are walking up in front of an audience, whether it is your peers here in class, whether it is at a university trying to get admissions, whether it is um, uh, trying to get a job in front of an employer. You're selling yourself. Most of all, have fun. Because if you're having fun, that means you're relaxed, you're breathing, you're smiling. And when you're doing all those things, you put off an air about you that you're confident. If you're all tense and grumpy and not, your body language is going to be all wrong. Have fun. Have fun. You cannot mess this up, okay? You make a mistake, you learn from it, you move on. It's not a big deal. When you are presenting, some of the main things you need to remember. Eye contact. Look at your audience. Don't just stare at one person the whole time, but look around. If you have four or five people, you always want to just kind of move back and forth, recognize them, kind of move your head a little bit, wait. They may have questions for you, but you're, you're always scanning the room, looking for people, not fast, but just like a normal conversation, okay? Remember your body language. This says you're all closed off. This says you're more open. Okay. Be real and not a statue. So, if you have your resume in hand, I have my resume. I've just got a piece of paper here. I have my resume. Do not sit there like this and go, My name is Randy Richards. I am looking for a job. I want to. No, 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 no. no. Be real. Saying up there, this resume you should know. Because it's about you. You're using this as a tool to help you with your presentation. So it's going to have things on here to help you remember. Oh yeah, I want to say this about a job I had one time. Or yeah, I want to make sure they know I got this award for my church. Okay, so things like that. This is all, don't spend your time staring at it because you know what's on here. You look down occasionally. Like, okay. All right. So I have, I've been a teacher for the last uh, two years at high school. I've been doing these things, I'm teaching business classes, blah, blah, blah. You know, prior to that, I was doing this. So I look down and go, oh, okay, I want to talk about my education. Um, I went to college to get a certification, things like that. So you're moving along, it's a natural conversation. And the only way all that's going to come together, practice, practice, practice. And when you're done practicing, go back and practice some more. 
You're never going to get any good at this unless you practice. Practice speaking in front of an audience. Practice speaking in front of a mirror if nobody's around. Um, but practice, and that way it's going to become more and more comfortable to you. Some people love to get up in front of an audience and speak. I'm actually one of those people. Most people do not. Most people are fearful of actually presenting in front of others. I understand that. It's perfectly normal. But you have to get over that fear at some point in order to sell yourself and present yourself. And that's the great thing about this, because it is about you. So it's easy to project and present you, right? You're not presenting something you don't know. I know all about me, so I can present me. So once you are done, so in this concept, when, when you're done here, um, ask for feedback from your peers. Um, anybody that's, that's saw you go through it in a classroom, you always want feedback. If you are um, interviewing for a job, you still want feedback. You just normally can't ask for it right that second, but you can get some later on. Uh, if you're interviewing or if you're applying for a school, you can also get some feedback from them. It's a little bit different because that's usually a delayed feedback uh, and a follow-up email or a follow-up letter. But for right now, you're doing this in front of your peers, your classmates, your local teachers down there. Uh, ask them for the feedback. Always, no matter where you are, if you're in front of an employer once you're done, if you're in front of the school, if you finish the day at work, you always want to do these three things, or these two things. It's self-reflect. Actually, it's one thing, but I'm saying it's two different ways. I want to think, when I finish up a day at school, I try to sit at my desk at the end of the day, and I say, what are three things that went well for me today? What are three things that went well in class today, or, or during the day that, I can use again when I'm teaching another class, whether it's tomorrow or next week or whatever. And then I want to know what are three things I wish I could have done differently? Or what are three things that didn't turn out exactly the way I had intended it to, so maybe I just need to, I either need to never try it again, or maybe I just need to tweak it and change it up a little bit. So by self-reflecting every time, get in that habit, you're always looking back and saying, how can I do things better? And by the things that I did do well, I want to keep doing those over and over again. Right. So if you remember those, you'll be fine. Also, you can make changes. If this version didn't come out the way you wanted, start over. It's not a big deal. You didn't fail. You just found a way that didn't work. Okay? Not a problem. You learn from it. and You say, all right, I tried this. Um, it wasn't exactly how, um, it didn't come out exactly as I thought it might. And I got feedback from my peers. So I want to scrap this whole thing. I'm going to go with a different style. I want to go with this and I want to change it up. There. That's fine. Not a problem. You know what? And in two years from now, you may look at it and say, I want to throw it out again and change the start of over it. That's okay. This paper is a version of you. It should change over time. Okay, before we wrap up, <laughs> there's always two things I ask you at the end of every class. These are the same things I ask my students at school. Uh, I need you to remember, you are always, always networking. Wherever you go, if you go down and you are fishing with a few friends, you're networking because you're down there with other people. It doesn't matter where you go or what you do. You're always networking. You're always presenting yourself. Make sure it's what you want to present. Also, social media, getting online, and the digital footprint that you leave behind. Is that what you want? Maybe. It's great. Congratulations. That's wonderful. But too many times... People get in trouble for things they have posted or things they have said, and it has cost them jobs. It has cost them scholarships to colleges. 
it has cost them careers. Um, you have to be very careful what you put out there. If you believe it, 100%, and if, these are important, if you would say it in front of your mother and your grandmother, if you would say it out loud in front of them, maybe it's okay. But if you wouldn't, don't hit send. Okay? If you would not say it in front of your mother or your grandmother, don't hit send. Very simple. All right. Listen, this has been great. I've loved it. Um, before we leave here today, I just want you to remember, whatever you do in life, have fun. Life's too short to be miserable. Um, always keep learning and be passionate in whatever you choose. And then success will follow. It took me a long time to learn that. Um, I'm very happy with what I do now. Um, I was not always happy with what I was doing. Uh, so, I leave you this week. I hope you learned at least one thing. If you did that, it was a su successful week. Okay? Have fun. Enjoy this. If you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out to your local teachers, your local leaders. And if you have any questions for me, um, you actually have a way to get in contact with me. If you realize, I gave you my resume yesterday, and my information's on there. But also, you can ask your local leaders. They can get in touch with me if they need to. Um, hopefully, next year, the virus won't be around. I may be able to come down and visit um, or actually teach in person. That was originally what I was going to do. It just didn't work out that way. But uh, anyway, stay safe. Enjoy it. Best of luck to you. Adios.